So let's look into what our options are for adding bacteria to our system or improving the overall health of your gut bacteria. First one is probiotics. You want to look for one that has different strands as well as add somewhere between 10 and 20 billion bacteria or CFU as they call it into your uh, gut per serving. My favorites are these two here. First is Dr. Mer Dr. Mercola's and his adds 70 billion CFU per serving and you take that once a day. The other one that I like to use is called Prescript Assist. Now it has less bacteria but it has more strands and it has different strands. So it's good to switch off between two different probiotics because you get different strands. So I switch off about every two weeks with these but you could switch off every six months. The other options you have are yogurt and kefir. Now that's not to be confused with commercial yogurt or kefir because they have so much sugar or versions of sugar such as aspartame or high fructose corn syrup in them and they have very little fermenting. When I make fermented vegetables I ferment them anywhere from uh, one to two weeks all the way up to six months. So their fermenting process often is less than an hour so you have no idea how much if any gut bacteria are in commercial yogurt and kefir. So I always advise people to stay away from those. If you can get them homemade, either one of them, from a local place and you know they don't add a lot of sugar or anything like that, by all means, those are very healthy for you and great for your gut bacteria. Other options for fermented food are kombucha, which is a fermented tea, as well as natto, which is fermented soy. Both are very good for you, but I would just stick to homemade if you can find them, not getting commercial brands. My favorite of all is fermented vegetables. Now I have a couple links below that will make fermented vegetables for you, but I actually prefer to do it myself. Reason being is because I get to choose what's inside it, meaning what the taste is. But the second reason is it's a lot less expensive. For, for the fermented vegetables, it winds up being about anywhere from $25 to $50 for about a two week supply. Whereas if you're making it on your own for $40, you can have about a four month supply. And in a two to three ounce serving, which is about a quarter cup of fermented vegetables, you're getting 10 trillion bacteria added into your system, which is about equivalent as a whole bottle of probiotics. I've heard Dr. McBride say that over the course of two years, it actually changes an unhealthy digestive system into being healthy. In part three, I show you the exact process on how to make fermented vegetables yourself. She recommends starting off slowly with this. So you're gonna to wanna to start out taking a, a half to a quarter of a teaspoon for a couple of weeks to avoid any type of healing crisis. And that can mean anything from feeling nauseous to uh, having diarrhea or getting a rash because your body is expelling the toxins that are in your body. But I'm not a doctor, so I would check with your doctor before taking anything. More videos like this can be seen at theartofunity.com.